What's up, gents, and welcome to Let's Talk Ties, my YouTube channel where I talk about different tie knots, how to tie them, and the best way to wear them. And today we are talking about the Van Wick knot. It's not super crazy, but it is a little bit different, so let's get right into how to tie this. All right, so you wanna set this, your tie up. It's all big end. Like, look how long my the big end is. Like, the little end is just, like, barely off camera. So... You want to put the big end on top and wrap it around to the same side. And now next you want to put your finger right here. And what you're going to do is to get those layers, you're going to start wrapping it around your finger a couple times. So and you want to keep it loose too, don't want to do it tight. So one, two. three and you you kind of end up with this you want it to come out the opposite side like from that the big end was on and now what I do is I put my thumb in there to kind of hold everything and you want to come around the top and then just go through where your thumb is You got like this thing going on. You notice it's kind of big. Well, hold on, let me get this all straightened out. You might notice it's kind of big. What you do is you could kind of snug it up and you kind of pull down a little bit. And what you do is like you grab everything and kind of turn it. Not to, like, don't like grab it and turn it really hard, just a little bit. And it could give you a little bit more slack for your, uh, to make the big end longer if it's a little short. But make sure you don't do it too tight because then you won't, won't be able to fix the layers if you, if you need to. Now to fix the layers, you see I'm just kind of not doing much. I got like this little piece coming out and that's it. What you want to do is like you want to kind of put your put your thumb in the top and you can kind of grab different things. Like here, feel for this. There you go. You kind of grab layers and you can kind of pull them out and have the layers exactly how you want them. Yeah, it looks good. Well, snug it up against your neck. Put your collar down. And you are good to go. Alright, here's everything you need to know about the Van Wick knot. Uh, the first thing is, is that even though it's a non-traditional knot, it's not super out there like the Trinity or the Eldridge or anything like that. You just had kind of like a regular tie knot with these two extra pieces coming out the bottom. So since it is so toned down, uh, I would say anywhere it's appropriate to wear a Windsor or a four hand knot. I would also say it's appropriate to wear this kind of tie knot. Uh, another thing is I would wear this tie knot with only like really light patterns, like nothing super dark, like I'm wearing a kind of lighter pattern. Uh, so nothing super dark, I would wear it with stripes. Striped ties get this really cool effect. You just have to put a little bit more effort into like making sure the lines are like all parallel. Like you don't want like kind of slants. It looks, makes it look really weird. Um, and like just solid, light color solids like always. Cause if it's too dark, you can't see what's going on. And I wouldn't wear this not with like super busy patterns like Paisley. Um, and another thing is this knot is really tall. Like since you have all this other stuff coming at the bottom, it's like really tall and like narrow so it's like a perfect knot for like narrow collars like taller dudes I, I would recommend wearing this knot uh, but because the knot is so narrow it looks kind of weird if you wear it with like a collar that's too wide like this is the widest kind of collar that I would wear this knot with I wouldn't like those super wide collars it would look really really weird all right guys that's the Van Wick knot uh, leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to get more videos uh, leave a comment of other time nights you would like to see me do, and I will see you guys in the next video.